That's correct, Aaron. Wendy Miller Wright was taken away by the sheriff's department to the state secure psychiatric hospital for that evaluation, after which there will be another hearing, and at that time she could be committed for up to five years. Not guilty by reason of in a voice that was barely audible, Wendy Miller Wright admitted that she was insane back on June 18, 2013, in Seabrook when she attempted to murder her son and daughter. That you gave your child KW, the first child, bleach and instructed her to drink it. Miller Wright also gave the bleach to her son, telling him to drink the medicine. The children, who were six and seven at the time, were taken to the hospital. Miller Wright was also admitted for psychiatric care. After reviewing the counseling records and her mental health history thoroughly and consulting with a forensic psychiatrist, I feel very confident that she was legally insane. Assistant Rockingham County Attorney Patricia Conway said her first instinct was to put Miller Wright in prison for life, but the evidence convinced her. The defense submitted over 2,000 pages of medical records to back up the insanity claim. And she has had multiple diagnoses on different axes uh, of the DSM. Yes. Those include bipolar 1, uh, severe um, bipolar. Um, mixed episode was her discharge diagnosis. Wright also told the court that she is taking numerous medications and that while she was insane back in 2013, now she is, in her own words, doing really well. As for the children, Conway she said she spoke with them a week ago. They also are doing well. The little boy is playing football. The girl is a cheerleader, and they are in custody of their father, who agrees with the plea bargain, being very familiar with the mother's mental health issues. Reporting live in Brentwood, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.